Hi there. We are looking at concept 21, um, which is modeling with exponentials. And what we're specifically modeling is um, investment with money in terms of accounts. So what we have learned so far this year is what to do um, if we have a certain amount of money in an account and earning a certain amount of percentage each year. So that's what we've learned so far. What we're going to look at is how banks actually do it. Now, I, I do want to clarify, no bank is going to do 12%. We made these just nice so that you didn't have to worry about um, fiddling with icky decimals. Uh, instead, we're able to just kind of focus on um, the concept here. So what happens is that um, they compound them differently. So say it was compounded twice annually. What that would mean is that they would take the 12% that you would normally get for the whole year and then they would split it into two parts. So they would do 6% um, for the first half, and then they would do six again, the other 6% um, for the second half. Um, and so that is what they would have. So we would have 6%. Now in terms of a decimal, remember that you are supposed to move that over, so that would be 0 0.06. So if it was quarterly, I would divide this by four. If I were monthly, I would divide it by 12. And these would be the uh, percentages that I would get um, a little bit at a time. Now, the problem is, is that I need to have this as a multiplier. And if you simply multiplied uh, 1,000 times 0 0.06, you get 60. That's not even 1,000, much less in a cr increasing as interest rate. So if you recall, this is our multiplier here. And this is a number that is less than 1, but greater than 0. So that means that that picture would end up looking like this. We don't want that. We want it to be going up. So what I need is something greater than 1. And so what really what I need to do is recognize that, let me go ahead and insert this in. I want to have 100%. Remember, if it's equal to 1, it's like a flat line of 1,000. Um, but I want it to be 106% of what I had um, originally. So that's what I'm going to do as my multipliers. So annually would be 1.12. Twice annually would be 1.06, because remember you move the decimal, 1.03 and 1.12. So the equations, this is our principal, our, our initial amount. This is our multiplier. And the exponent is how many times it's going to be compounded in a year. So in this case, it's going to be 1. This one is going to be twice a year. This one is going to be four times a year. And this one, it is going to be 12 times a year. Now, what we really want to know is after a period of time. So we're looking for 10 years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in this little spot here, prove that. So the first option, option one, I am going to do my multiplier times my initial value. But in 10 years, if it happens once a year, it's only going to be 10 times that it's actually compounded. For my second option, if it is twice a year for 10 years, that is total 20 times it is compounded. And for my third option, if it is four times a year for 10 years, that's 40 times that it will be compounded. And for my monthly, that is 12 times a year for 10 years, which is 120 times. So I'm going to go ahead and plug each of these into my calculator. and look and see what happens. So this is significant, that this is a big difference. Um, we've got about 100 different here, we have about 60 different here, and then about 40 different here. So this is about 100 in between, about 60 in between, and about 40 in between. I do want us to recognize that this is not all equally um, going here, and if I were to look at these things here, this is definitely decreasing, that the more times I do it, it's not like I'm 100 each time in between here. So option four would um, be the answer. Let's go ahead and look at a couple other of these um, while we're at it. So for this one here, 
I have my principal, which all of these are principal, so that's good. 28% interest. Again, we are trying just to make life easy for you. And so um, if it's compounded quarterly, remember, I don't get this four times a year. I take this amount and split it up a little bit at a time. So I get it one of these two. Now remember, this here is, if I were to put this back into a percent, is 170%. This one here, if I put it back into a percent, is 107%. This is the one that I want because I want it at 7% each time. And then this here is, remember, it happens four times a year for five years. So 20 would be our answer on that one. Let's go ahead and look at the other two. Uh, an equation. So this is our initial value. This is our principal, we call it when we're talking about money compounded monthly. So I'm going to take this and split it up. So 1% uh, is what we're going to get each month. And remember, I want to have it more than one because if it's not more than one, it's going down, it's decreasing. I want it to be increasing. And then I'm going to go ahead and write um, months up there. So for the 25 years, I'm still going to use my equation. But here I'm going to put in 12 months, but 25 years of them. So I'm going to go ahead and actually multiply that out and get what? 12 times 20, ooh, 12 times 25 is 300. So this will be a total of 300 months. So I go ahead and multiply that in and I get... Now, this is significant. Interest rate, again, you're not gonna get 12%. That's just like, nice try, never gonna happen. But if this is my interest rate, by putting this in amount originally, after 25 years, I have $29,000. I think that's a significant amount of money for having it just sit in uh, my bank account. Of course, you need to find a bank account that's 12%, but good thing to look at. All right, our last one here, we have, what, 40,000 coins. So let's see, Blackbeard is going to take 25,000. And Seamus takes 15, the rest of it. And invest. So remember, 8%, but compounded quarterly. So how much is he going to get each quarter? Quarter is divided by 4. So we divide this by 4, we get 2%. That's how much he gets each quarter. But my multiplier is 1.02. This is my 2%. This is my at least 100%. Remember, it's got to be bigger than 1 in order for it to increase. And then I want this to happen for 5 years. Well, for 5 years means that this isn't 5 times this is going to happen. It's going to happen 4 times a year for 5 years. That's 20 times. Every single word in here is so um, in important. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And I'm going to get... So the nice thing is, hey, by taking the lesser amount, he still ends up with a relatively close amount after, uh, what is it, five years, um, but still not quite the same. So we do have um, our black beard, bigger booty <laughs> going on right there.